Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Build a Zoo. I saw this game on Steam, it looked great, I put it on my wish list. Check my email today, and I have an email from the developers, and they gave me a code for the game. So I'm playing it a day early, and uh, I get to get this video out to you. Today is the day the game is released, you should be able to buy it right now. And let me tell you, I've played just a little bit, and it's it's great. It's kind of like everything I wanted Planet Zoo to be, but with pixely graphics. Another thing I know about the game, I didn't actually get to the part or get to this part while I played a little bit of it. But if you uh, just take a look at the top left of your screen right here, um, something looks a little interesting there. Uh, that that doesn't belong on that, and uh, it exists. This game, you can genetically splice your animals and like create a crap load of different animals. So. We're gonna get to that eventually. I'm just gonna hit, uh, actually we have to hit load game, and yeah, see I only played five days. I'm gonna click start a new game, we're starting a new game, and uh, I have a feeling this is gonna be a good series. So here we go. I'm gonna pick this guy. And for our zoo name, we gotta go with classic. Zoo, B, do, B, and I can't fit the other do, but you know, it's zoo, be, do, B. Zoo, B, do, B, yes, okay, play. Look everyone, it's Kathleen. New task, visit the management office. Hey there, my name is Kathleen and I'm currently your zoo's sole investor. Could you come down to the management office for a quick chat, please? Oh God, that can't be good. Kathleen, what do you want? We haven't started yet, Kathleen, I'm sorry, we're trying. All kinds of requests end up here and I know you will want to keep on top of them. Try viewing a new task now. Okay, Kathleen, we have to do everything Kathleen says right now because if she pulls out, we're screwed. She's the only reason we have any money right now. She wants us to build an enclosure. Okay, every zoo needs animals, but before you can take a delivery of any animal, you need to build an enclosure. I can do that, Kathleen. I'm glad you trust me, Ka Whoops, apparently I can't because I managed to click the delete tool right away. <laughs> How did I do that? Um, let's go with, uh, we, we could use concrete. Concrete looks a little gross, so we're gonna go with grass. Different enclosures are more suited for certain animals. Try to build the ideal habitat for animals. Well, they better like grass. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. First thing you see when you walk in is, is gonna be this enclosure. It's gonna be great. Is that big enough? Boom! There we go. Okay, I did it, cat. Where's my enclosure? <laughs> Damn it, I screwed it up. Oh, I have to place the entrance. <laughs> That's where I screwed up. Yeah, I guess we could just throw that, I don't know, back here. So it's not in the front. I did it, Kathleen, are you proud of me? <laughs> Great, now that we have that enclosure, we can start the real business of finding animals to make our zoo one step closer to becoming the best zoo on planet Earth. Oh, it will be. Timbo, the Australian zookeeper, has a problem. Overpopulation. Good day. I have a gift for you. Visit my zoo and I can tell you about it. Just find the Australian Zoo on the world map. Oh, let's go visit Australia real quick. Just take a quick detour to Australia. I don't know where we are on this map. But I know where Australia is. It's right there. Struth! We had an unexpected boost of... Do Australians say that? Struth? I've heard of a lot of Australian sayings, but I've never heard that one. <laughs> we had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month. We just don't know what to do with the really unexpected boost to rabbit population. Rabbits are known to populate. That's the one thing they're good at. <laughs> I highly doubt it was unexpected. I heard you were starting a zoo and instantly thought we might have found the perfect home for a couple of our floppy-eared furballs. What do you say? I say get. Received. Rabbits. Hey. I'm sure you'll love them and your visitors will too. Sweet. Select an enclosure to deliver the animals. That one. Use. Yes. Is it big enough? I think it's big enough. This person will have a new task after this. After this, complete four trades with Cuba Zoo. Why would Timbo, the Australian zookeeper, want us to trade with the Cuba Zoo? <laughs> Here they come. Oh, it's Kathleen again. It's probably time to start trying to earn a living. Let's open the zoo it's, uh, so paying customers can start turning up. Let's do it. Hooray, the zoo's open. Horizon Herald, the mayor officially opened our zoo today. The zoo that has been named Zooby Dooby was made possible. 
We advise with an investment from Kathleen Kay, a renowned international business mogul. The management of the zoo said, We hope to become a huge success, bring joy to animal lovers everywhere, while also financially responsible to our investors. Maybe even buying them out and gaining our own independence one day. Oh, okay. So this is this is, this is going to be our, our legacy. We're going to create absolute freaks. We're going to create monsters. We're going to splice creatures together that no one ever thought of, and it's going to be terrible. And guess what? We're going to... By doing this, we're going to make so much money, we're going to buy out Kathleen, and then we're going to feed her to one of our crazy monsters just because we can't we'll be so rich. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the game plan. Well, our animals need some things, you can tell up here. Um, they need water and enrichment, so let's take care of that. You click the pen, you have add objects, you click add objects, you click the water, we can add a water basin. I'm going to add this one. Actually, no, I'm going to add this one. Uh, I'm going to put it here. So it can be accessed from all sides. Issue. We have a water pump back here, and it is just out of reach. Whoops. Can I move that? Hello, I would like to move you. You know, some place that's not at the freaking corner of my zoo. How about right, right there? I am leaving. There isn't anything else to do. Lady, shut up. Who the hell is this? Isaac. Build a research building. Hi, I represent the Zoological Foundation for Research, and I'm here to offer you a grant. If you build a research hub before the next or before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. Isaac, I accept. Plans for a research hub in local zoo. The zoo recently announced that they plan to construct a research hub, and once built, visitors can expect to see a constant flow of new and exciting attractions appearing in the zoo. Zoo management says that there are currently no estimates on when it will be completed. However, they reassure us that after construction, the researchers and designers will work hard or will be working hard to constantly refresh the look and technology of the zoo. We spoke to the locals, and the reactions are mostly positive. New stuff is always exciting, says Jan, a housewife with kids. Franny, an infamous commenter on all things negative in our community, said, Why bother making new things? We have enough things in the world already. Frick you, Franny. Frickin' Franny. <laughs> that's that's the name. That's. A... Have you ever met someone named Franny who's positive? I haven't. Probably because I've never met anyone named Franny, but that's besides the point. The rabbits need enrichment. Add objects. Enrichment. All we have is a small ball. I hope the rabbits enjoy the small ball. It appears they do enjoy the small ball because it took care of that problem. What is this? Shop. Shop. Build a shop to start to earn revenue from yes. Oh wait, we have to build the uh, research thingy. Here? Yes, let's do this first. I guess we can plop it right, right here. Task complete. Reward, $250 for 14 days. Nice. Um, who is this? Hire Williams. Oh, I think he's a researcher. Yeah, hire a new researcher. Okay. So we have a researcher. We have rabbits. Everything's going great. I do want to build the path around the rabbit enclosure. Should I be worrying about this right now? Probably not. But I am. So we're going to come up here. We're going to come over here. Just get path all around the place. Beautiful. What a great zoo. Research an item at the hub. Okay, that's our current objective. Um, curiously, I don't know what this is. Factories, skull and crossbones. I don't know. Maybe we will, uh, wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we click a rabbit. Pudge. Our rabbit's name is Pudge. That is the best thing ever. What's this one called? Quincy and Pudge. It's almost like I named these things, but I didn't. See, this is why I love this game. It's so good. Um, a lot of stuff going on here, but there's interesting things down here. We can donate and we can euthanize. And I don't know, but I have a feeling we might be able to feed our animals to our guests. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. The factories with the skull and crossbones... It might be a thing we can do, and I look forward to finding out. <laughs> Only, maybe, maybe we can feed the guests to our guests. That is one thing I always wished for. 
in these games. The ability to uh, turn your guests into food for the animals, or maybe, you know, turn your animals into guests for... Just feed everything to everyone is what I really want. And uh, will this game fulfill that? Possibly. I don't know. I'm going to put a hot dog shop up here. Why? I'm putting it in the back of the park so they have to walk to it. Hire, Patricia. Um, so we're serving hot dogs. Oh, crap. We gotta research a thing. Research. This is the research screen. The employees of your research hub work tirelessly to earn you points that can be used to unlock new buildings and bonuses. Try unlocking some research now. So we get a desert enclosure, a bench, or a tree, or colorful enrichment balls. Increase the amount of enrichment each item gives by 5%. That's pretty good. Uh, desert. Unlock two more park benches, increasing the speed regen. Ooh, 40%. Increases decoration score. I think we're going with the, we're going with this one. Oh, God. Research grid. Previews for important buildings and bonuses allow you to work towards unlocking the items you want. Selecting the research sets on the left gives you a hint about the locations of the different things. Remember to come back regularly to spend your points. Oh, man. So if I say I want a shop, that doesn't help. Oh, wait. I think these are shops. Okay. Ah, uh, that's cool. All right. I'm not worried about that now. We don't have any research anyway. We'll have to wait. Gift shop. Why is that saying gift shop? So they want a gift shop and a drink shop. I can do that. Um, click build. Go to shop. We will get a cola vendor. Oh, crap. Hold on. I kind of blocked some stuff here with this water pump, didn't I? Ugh. It's okay. We'll move it. Oh, saving. Saving game. The game saves at the end of every calendar day. Told this business one. Hey, look. Wow. We almost we almost broke even, which is pretty good for your first freaking day at the zoo. Um, park rating attracted 24 people. Five people could not fit on your buses. One felt the ticket price was too expensive. That's probably fair. And 18 people entered the zoo. Cool. Oh god, it's Kathleen again. Now we are finally up and running. I would love to start tracking your progress. If you reach 25 total customers, I will be able to give you a small performance bonus. 25 customers? Easy, Kathleen. Easy. Oh god, it's Franny the Complainer! She's here! Hi there. I can't believe a zoo has opened up here in town. I have a small observation though. Perhaps you might want to feed your animals. Hunger leads to starvation, and starvation leads to death, and I don't want dead animals stinking up the neighborhood. Build a storeroom for food. All right, listen here, Franny. If we have dead animals, we are feeding them to you, and you are going to enjoy it. Look, we're almost at 25 already, because I counted yesterday's visitors, which is cool. Um, storeroom. I guess I could put this here. Actually, we'll put it here so that we can have a path back there. Chris. Chris, your work ethic, work ethic is a little low. If I give you a lot of money, it doesn't increase it. It just makes you more polite. Okay. Um, if I take it away, you just become a little more rude. I won't change anything. We'll just keep it. <laughs> keep it there. I love how we got these animals and we had no one feeding them. <laughs> Oops. All right. I don't think they can get past this water pump. They cannot. So we are gonna move this to here. Good. She just walked into my, oh God, animal. <gasps> hey, look at that, we did it. We got an A and we didn't even have to bribe them. Everyone has a price if you can afford it. Nice. Given up close and personal experience with some wildlife results may vary. Can we do this? I mean, we already got an A. Estimated score C. <gasps> What? You've seen one animals, you gave us an A for those animals, and you estimate we're gonna get a C? Oh, hold on. How about, how about we give you an up close, up close experience? Here, here, visit the bunnies. Visit the bunnies. Get up close and personal with the bunnies. The bunnies are great. As our bunnies freaking maul the person to death. Oh, nope. Good job, bunnies. Trick her into thinking this place is great. We'll get, a, we'll get a higher score than, oh no, feeding. Someone feed my damn rabbits! <laughs> She's gonna be like, hey, these rabbits aren't fed. She's still giving up the C. 
I'm not gonna bribe her. I don't know how much money she'd take. I don't think she'd take all my money, but I'm not willing to gamble that. Get out of my zoo. We gotta see. How do we get a C? Welfare report. Great to see a new zoo. It seems like you have a few things to solve. I will just give you some advice for now, but next time I won't be so generous. Your animals need no more time to be fed and raised loving. I just got the quest to get food! Oh my god. Your, your animals are not being well treated? Wait, 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 wait. Your animals are not being treated very well. Please try to do better next time. It's Ron Hawk. Guess what, Ron Hawk? You can freaking take a long walk off a short pier because they are being treated very well. I got an A, yet you gave me a C. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can feed my guests to people because I will feed you, Ron Hawk. Miguel. Or is that a Q? Miguel. Mick L. Mick. You aren't Ron. <laughs> you, you were the. Wow, okay. I say we, uh. We should take that up with the, uh, with the authorities. We had someone come in, give us a rating, and they signed it with a false name. I don't think that's legit. There is garbage everywhere. <laughs> garbage all over my park and my zoo also. That's done. We finished the, uh, storeroom. Hi there. I can't believe it. Oh, we already read all that. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, God. Hire a janitor. Oh, okay. Fran is helping us out. So, you know, as much as I hate Fran, she is being pretty pretty helpful, so. Your zoo is going to become a rat-infested den of disgust unless you hire someone to tidy up. Shut up, Fran. So we gotta hire a janitor. 25 visitors is done. Hooray. And then this other one. The research. Finished task. Look at that. We got all this money from it. We're so rich. Okay, whoops, I didn't mean to close out of that. Uh, we have to hire a janitor. I don't know how to hire a Oh wait, doesn't that appear? Yes. Park staff. So we need to put out a job searching for our, our recruitment thing. Job posting, that's what they're called. Recruit. Okay, opens the job, yes. Admin is $5, we're gonna go social media. All the kids are on social media nowadays and I'm too cheap to do job portals, so. Hopefully that'll get us to where we need to go. Uh, apparently we still still need a gift shop, so let's get a gift shop. This is perfect, perfect chance to get money that we're wasting. Uh, we'll put it here, so we can have a path going that way and that way. Oh my! Can we get someone who's better? Cause song here kind of sucks. I don't think there's any way I can fix that. Oh, we just gotta deal with it. I yeah, I can't like shuffle to find someone new. We're stuck with Sucky Song. I'm gone. Uh, garbage all over my paths. Please tell me we have a janitor. Application. Searching. One. Applicant. Zero. Crap. Can I get some garbage cans in the meantime? Water pump. We have a draft bin and a green bin. So we're going to go draft bin because it's fun. Okay. Rotate that. We'll put one here. We'll put one over here. And hope that's enough. How much do they cost me? 20 bucks? Okay. I, for a second I thought it said 2,000, which I knew was wrong, but... <laughs> it can never be so short. Alright, we've been in, in business for two days. We made a crap load of money today. Attracted 24 people. Four people can fit into the bus. One felt tickets were too expensive. 19 entered the park. Seed fund? Since I invested in the business, you have various performance targets to hit in order to unlock more capital. Reach 100 total customers, and I will release some additional funds. Alright, Kathleen. Who the hell is this? Potter, Animal Picture Club. You know, I really love seeing lots of animals. They bring peace and tranquility to me, but I am also a member of an online animal spotting group. So we compete to get pictures of the rarest species. I don't think we are supposed to take them at the zoo, but I just like winning on social media regardless of the reality. Anyways, you should get more animals. Okay, Potter, random stranger who wants to take photos of my animals to cheat on your online group. We will get more animals for your sake. <laughs> uh, but first, I'd like the garbage to be picked up, please. Janitors, there has to be someone. We have an applicant. Who is it? I don't care, we're hiring them, it's Quincy. Rating has a half star. Guess what, Quincy? You're hired. Wait a second, Quincy. You're not polite, but you have a really good worth ethics, 
ethics. As long as you don't talk to anybody, um, you're hired. What is this? Lost puppy. A man has lost his best friend. The animal keeper told me that we found a lost dog, a beautiful Labrador. We could call the number on his collar to tell its owner, or we can use this as an opportunity to earn more money and expand this fledgling zoo. Why don't we dress the dog as a lion and use it to amaze your visitors? Dress it like a lion and put it on display. Spend $50 to hold advertising campaign to find its owner. We have bad choices and good choices. There's a moral compass in this game. How amazing is that? <sighs> okay. Okay, here's the thing. You know, if any other circumstance, I would pick... I would pick the good choice. However, I'm recording for YouTube content. Content-wise, we're gonna choose, we're gonna dress up the dog as a lion and put it on. Are you kidding me? There's no, I can't pick the good choice when this is an option. <laughs> morality. Your choices matter. The morality choices you make will impact the buildings and actions you can use and may be reflected in certain beha people's behaviors. Choose wise. Okay. That's, we, one bad choice isn't gonna ruin the whole run. Okay. Um, and it's looking like these are the factories that we turn our, oh my god, we can turn our animals into food. Or we can go the, okay. One bad choice isn't gonna ruin everything here. Okay. Quincy, you're named like our rabbits, you're hired. Uh, yes, close the thing, too. Quincy, you better clean that up, bud. Quincy, clean up the garbage, bud. I think... Okay, you missed some. I don't know how to command you. I can't pick people up, I don't think. I wish I could. Um, but I cannot. Because Quincy right now is just... Zone. Quincy, there's your zone. Enjoy. Stay here. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> Ming Lion? <laughs> we just took this lady's lost dog, put a fake mane on it, and said it's a lion. I love this game. I absolutely love this game. My morality is five. Oh no. But, okay, it's only one category. It's fine. We'll reverse it. It's fine. No way that is a lion. <laughs> they don't believe me. <laughs> oh, holy crap. Awesome. All right, why are you not in the zone? There you go. Get in your zone. Do the, do the work. And uh, we need some more animals. And we need some more visitors. And this thing has a thing. A new task. Oh, we can finish this. Hooray. Finish the task. 200 bucks. Easy. And all, all we need is guests and more animals. So that will have to happen next episode. Because sadly, I have to end this one here. As much as I don't want to and I want to keep playing. Because this game is great. Um, and I can't wait to see what else happens. I Sadly, there's only so much that I can throw into one video before people lose interest. However... This game is on sale, or not on sale, but this game is for sale on Steam right now. Link will be in the description, and uh, I don't know how much it's going to be, but I can guarantee you from the 20 minutes I've played, it's 100% worth it. And uh, get this game. Just just do it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, share the video if you enjoyed. They help it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.